Hello everybody, this is the Rabbit Hedgehog, and this is the ride and review of the 2016 Harley-Davidson Street. Second year bike for it. And, uh, you know, I did own the one I had for a while. Decided to get rid of it because, you know, didn't really need that many bikes and all that. But I had a love for this little bike. I really did. And how smooth it really is. I mean, it, it's a very smooth and competent bike. But the reason why I wanted to test the 2016 out was because I've been told that the braking problem was fixed. So I wanted to confirm that. Because the uh, first year bikes, the brakes were terrible. Engine braking is still compliant. I'm not gonna really need the brakes right now, so just use an engine. It's like an old little friend. I miss this thing. <laughs> like I said, I, I want a bike in the future one day that I can tinker the crap out of and make powerful and do stupid stuff with. And you know, the 883 Sportster is one of them that's a thought that you could do that with because you can find them used and cheap and everywhere. This is another bike that's actually in the candidacy for that because of what you could do to the engine, you know, and make it just simply more powerful. It already starts out with more horsepower and more torque than even the 883 Iron Evolution, despite it being a 750 liquid cool. So you end up in the, uh, you know, with the Iron has only like 43 to 44 foot pounds of torque. This one already starts out 52 and the, you know, horsepower is nearer to 60 on this one. And the Irons is more like, you know, in the, in the lower 40s as well, along with the torque. So, you know, you get a much more powerful bike and a lighter bike that turns like heck. I mean, this thing is very, I mean, I'm just barely doing this and I've got that flickability. I mean, it, it turns much better than, uh, than your Sportsters or anything like that. I mean, it's a great turning bike all around except for that dumb right hand and that's what kills it. Um, I, mean, it I mean, it probably could outturn most anything if it wasn't for the dumb uh, muffler being so low mounted on the right side and you just sit there and you just scrape the crap out of everything you're going around on. So that's kind of the, the complaint there. Now the 2016, they did clean up some of the wires in the front, but not completely. It still has the wires kind of hanging out where, um, you know, it, it's just too visible and kind of a little bit chintzy looking. The housings of all the switch gear is plastic. It's still got the more metric bike style controls, you know, it doesn't have the typical Harley Davidson left right buttons or the, you know, typical flip up and down off on off switch and things like that. It's definitely, you know, more of that metric bike feel. And the, you know, can't, and instead of self canceling turn signals like the other Harleys, this one's just got the old standard clicker on, clicker off. You know, and I mean, that's not a big deal or anything. It's just, it just why did they make it feel so cheap still? I mean, I wish they would have improved that for 2016 is to make it a little bit more Harley, but at least keep the price point. I mean, the price point's not terrible for this bike. I mean, it's, it's still a great bike. I still wouldn't mind owning one. Like I said, I just didn't need all the bikes that I had at the moment. <laughs> yeah, this thing is wonderful. This is this is my favorite turning bike from Harley. He has to go in wide. I can dive in. Just I could absolutely outrun him. Now, 30 miles an hour, I was dragging the indicator on the Sportster. On this one, as you notice, I was closer to 40 and not even close to dragging. But he can't he can't do what I can do on this one. I mean, I have to stay with him. <laughs> but I mean, you still get that adequate power to get on the highway. It does very good at acceleration. Still the smooth bike I remember. Not the smoothest engine anymore like I had felt before. The Goldwing is now the king of the smooth. Still get that nice six speed transmission. Now they did fix some of the false neutral issues on the transmission which that is helpful. I do like the uh, transmission more now this year than I did last year. So that other one was a little bit notchier and you can hit some false neutrals quite frequently and uh, it would cause some weird issues. So this one's a better transmission in general. Great overall bike still. I still love this bike. Still comfortable. I mean, I am a little bit, you know, tied in on it. You still get 3.5 gallons of gas, so more than an iron. 
you get 54 to 55 to the gallon, which is more than the iron. So you get a lot better bike, really, for a lower price point in terms of the engine, the power, and the, the, the feel of it, the turning and everything like that. You just don't get quite the quality of the, the fit and finish that you would on the, on the iron. Actually, you don't even get near the quality of the fit and finish. The iron has a very good fit and finish, despite being a bike that starts in the upper sevens. You know, or even the lower eights. I think they're 8200 now. They used to be lower sevens or higher sevens at one time. But still, I mean, this is a great overall bike, and I still need to test the brakes. <laughs> so far, everything I've done has just been really easy uh, to use engine braking. And like I said, you can engine brake on this bike all day long, and you don't really need to use the main braking structure if you don't have to. You can usually use engine braking just fine to get where you need to go with it. But this is a great highway bike. I still, I still have a love for this little guy. Like I said, the four Harleys that I care about: the Sportster, the Street, the Night Rod, and the Dyna. <laughs> so I have a love for all those. But the bigger ones, I kind of, kind of uh, eh, toward, you know. I'll still ride them, no doubt about it. Oh, I kind of hope this light will go red so I can ch check the brakes here, but I know I'll have to check them at the turn. I don't see anybody sitting on the sensors. Bummers. <laughs> but here we go. We'll check, we'll check the brakes out here. See how they feel. I'll come in a little hotter than I would normally. And I won't use engine braking. I'll try to keep away from it. Oh yeah, they have very much improved these things. The the right pedal fill is near immediate. Yeah, man, and the, the front end actually bites. That, yeah, definitely better. Definitely a better setup this year. So at any rate, this is the Rabbit Hedgehog, and if you have any questions on the Harley-Davidson Street 750, just leave them in the comments below. Still a lovely bike, still a bike that I would recommend. Have a good one, folks. And uh, if you're looking for a Harley-Davidson and you are in the Edmond, Oklahoma area, come to Iron Nation Harley-Davidson at 33rd Street. Have a good one.